In this video, we'll be learning about the different types of triangles. There are four different types of triangles we'll be working with. The right triangle, the equilateral triangle, the isosceles triangle, and the scalene triangle. Triangles are classified by their types of sides and their angles. The first type of triangle we're going to be talking about is the right triangle. The way you can tell if a triangle is a right triangle is if it has a right angle. So looking at the four triangles down here, only one of them has a right angle, and that's going to be the angle that forms a square. So right here we can see that square inside that triangle. So we know that this is a right triangle, so we're going to drop it into that box. Moving on to the equilateral triangle. The key to this triangle is in this little part here where it says equa. Equa means equal. So an equilateral triangle is a triangle that has all sides, all three of the sides the same length. So looking at the remainder of the three triangles here, the one that fits this description would be our purple triangle. All three sides the same. Moving on to the isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two sides the same. Only two sides are the same. Looking at our yellow and our orange triangle, we can see that the sides of this triangle, one and two, are the same. So this is going to be an isosceles triangle. Lastly is our scalene triangle. The scalene triangle has no sides the same length. And that would be our yellow triangle. Each side is a different length. And these are our four types of triangles. Again, we have the right triangle, meaning that there is a right angle somewhere in that triangle. We saw that right angle in this left corner here. The equilateral triangle, meaning all three sides are the same length. The isosceles triangle, meaning only two sides are the same length. And then the scalene triangle showing us that all three sides are a different length. And you can see I used some ticks here to show the different sides and we're going to learn a little bit more about that later on in this video. So I have a helpful tip to remember, at least for the these three triangles here, our equilateral, our isosceles, and our scalene. And that has to do with the first letter that makes the name of each of those triangles. For our right triangle, we just need to remember that in a right triangle, there's always some sort of right angle. And that's going to be our hint for that one. That's a separate type of triangle. But looking at our remaining three triangles, I wrote the first letter of each triangle really big. So equilateral has the big E, isosceles, I, big I, and scalene, the big S. So the hint for this is if we look at the E, there are three lines in this E that are the same. We have the top of the E, the middle of the E, and the bottom of the E. Therefore, in an equilateral triangle, three sides are the same. Moving down to our isosceles triangle and looking at that I, we have two lines in that I that are the same, the top of the I and the bottom of the eye. Therefore, in an isosceles triangle, only two sides are the same. And finally, looking at our S here for the scalene triangle, there are no lines in that S, it's curved. So therefore, since there are no lines, zero sides are the same in a scaling triangle. So this is just a helpful hint you can use when trying to distinguish between an equilateral, an isosceles, and a scaling. Think about that first letter of each triangle and the amount of lines in those letters. The last thing we're going to talk about today is using ticks to show whether a triangle is scaling, equilateral, or isosceles. So what I have here is two triangles that look exactly the same, but for one of them we want it to be an equilateral triangle. 
And for this one on the right, we want this one to be an isosceles triangle. And since we aren't perfect at drawing, as you can see, I'm not perfect at writing either, we're gonna use these ticks to kind of show what each of these triangles is. So for equilateral, to show that each side is the same, we're gonna give each side the same amount of ticks. So I'm gonna put a tick on that side, a tick here, and a tick here. And that's gonna show that this is equilateral. Now if I go and put another tick on this side, now this triangle is no longer equilateral because one side has more ticks than the other. So to make it equilateral again, I'm going to even out the amount of ticks. So for an isosceles over here, we just want two sides the same. So I'm gonna put two ticks on this side, two ticks on this side. So now we have two sides the same. And to make the third side different, we're just gonna make a one tick. Or we could make a three tick showing that these two are the same, but this one is different. So this is really helpful when you wanna draw some triangles, but you're not the best at drawing, or you don't have a ruler around, and you can't make things perfect. So I'll show you a quick example. I'm gonna do a equilateral. I'm gonna draw a scalene. Again, my drawings are not perfect. And I'm gonna draw a right, but I want my right triangle to be isosceles. So I'm going to show that this is equilateral. I'm going to go one tick, one tick, one tick. To show that this is scalene, I'm going to do three ticks, two ticks, one tick. And to show that this is isosceles and right, I'm going to show that it's right with my little right angle. And then I'm going to show that it's an isosceles triangle by showing that two sides are the same. So that left side and that right bottom side are going to be the same. And this side is going to be different. Now obviously looking at my triangles I drew, these are not perfect. These three sides, if we measured them with the ruler, are not the same. And this triangle, if we measured, well actually this one probably would have all three sides different. And then this one, not perfect. This side wouldn't measure the same as that side. But because we use these ticks, now we can show what type of triangle it is, even if it's not perfectly measured out with the ruler. Are polygons. Are polygons, polygons are simply many-sided, two-dimensional figures like hexagons, octagons, pentagons, and of course triangles. Triangles have three sides. Sometimes these sides are the same and sometimes they are different. Triangles also have three angles. In fact, that's what the word means, triangles, three angles. Sometimes these angles are the same, but more, more often than not, they are different. There are three main types of triangles. The first type, perhaps one of the most widely used types, is called the equilateral triangle. Equal here means equal, and lateral means line. So, all of the lines, or the sides, are the same length, in this case all three centimeters. Now also in an equilateral triangle all of the angles are going to be the same. And in all triangles if you add up all the angles they will measure up to 180 degrees. So if you divide 180 by 3 3 goes into 18 6 times, 3 goes into 0 0 times. In an equilateral triangle, always, 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 the angles will measure 60 degrees. The second kind of triangle is called an isosceles triangle. The word isosceles means having two sides the same length. You can see here in our example, that we have two sides that are four centimeters and one side that is one centimeter. This is a perfect example of an isosceles triangle. Now an isosceles triangle obviously does not have the same uh, angle sizes. All, in fact, two of these angles are going to end up being the same, these two right here, and this one's going to end up being different. Once again, because it's a triangle, all the angles still will add up to 180 degrees, but we have to do a little bit of 
up more thinking as far as the math to figure out what the angle measure is going to be here. Let me make it a little easy for you. What if I say that this angle here is 70 degrees? Well, if this angle and this angle are the same, then this one's also 70 degrees. And now we have 70 plus 70, which is 140. And when we do subtraction, we get the measure of our final angle here, which is 40 degrees. Now, isosceles triangles often will always have this arrangement here, where you'll have two angles that are the same, but they will not always be these angle measures. The last kind of triangle is called a scalene triangle. Scalene just means all the sides have different lengths. Here in this example, you can see that. Five centimeters on this long side, three and a half centimeters on this diagonal, and on this other diagonal, we have two centimeters. Now, in a scalene triangle, all sides have different lengths, but also all of the angle measures are going to be different too. Because the only way to get a triangle with all different sides is to make sure that none of the angles are the same. However, just like all triangles, this triangle too, the angles will add up to 180 degrees. Now to figure out the angle measures of a scalene triangle, it is necessary for you to know at least two of the angles. Because if you only knew one, it would be very difficult to figure out what the other two were. I mean, you could guess, but guessing in math is not a good idea. I mean, if you guess on, a, on when you're building a bridge and you're wrong, well, people are driving along and suddenly they end up in the river. So, you, when you're dealing with scalene triangles, you have to know two of the angle measures. And here we know that this one's 30 degrees, we know that this one's 45 degrees. We add those two up, and we get 75 degrees. We can subtract that from 180 here. Do our little subtractions. Bring it down, and we end up with this angle measure as 105 degrees. And when we look at it, we can clearly see that this is obtuse, and these are two acute angles. So that's it.